So hi and hello friends, welcome back to my channel Indian Mom Lifestyle. So today's recipe is a special one. So I'm going to show you how to make chicken biryani. So it is very easy to make and let's get started with the ingredients now. So I've taken 500 grams of chicken, rinsed them thoroughly in water and added half a teaspoon of uh, half a spoon of turmeric powder and two spoons of Kashmiri chili powder. This gives a maximum color to your uh, chicken and one spoon of pepper powder and one spoon of cumin powder. And I'm going to add uh, about one cup of water here or you can add until the chicken is fully immersed. And I'm going to pressure cook this and uh, for three whistle. So now the chicken is cooked for about 90%, keep it aside. So soak about one and a half glass of basmati rice and I've sliced up three onions into julienne and this is homemade ginger garlic paste and then one cup of coriander leaves and one cup of mint leaves and I'm going to blend them together into a coarse paste and uh, followed by three tomatoes that are finely chopped into julienne and three slitted green chilies and for the powder masalas I'm going to start off by taking salt and uh, one spoon of Kashmiri chili powder and one spoon of plain chili powder, half a spoon of turmeric powder and about one spoon of pepper powder and one spoon of cumin powder. You will need ghee and uh, refined oil to make this biryani. Followed by the whole spices, I'm going to start off by taking maize, star anise and green cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, bay leaves. And I'm going to blend this coriander and mint leaves into a coarse paste with a little water in it. And I'm going to start off by taking a big uh, vessel like so. It's made of aluminium. So I'm going to add in about three tablespoons of refined oil. And to that, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of ghee. So this gives you a maximum flavor to the biryani. And let them get heated up. And to the hot oil, I'm going to add in Cloves, cinnamon, green cardamom, star anise, bay leaves and maize. So all the details I'll be listing it in the description box. You can go and check it out. So after the ten, turn aromatic, I'm going to add the sliced onions and give it a nice stir. And I'm going to close the lid and cook it for about 3 minutes. So after 3 minutes, the onions are softened. So to this, I'm going to add about 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste here. So this is a homemade ginger garlic paste. It gives you a maximum flavor with aroma. So I make my own ginger garlic paste. So stir it really well. And again, I'm going to close the lid and cook it for 3 minutes on medium flame. So it's been 3 minutes, now the onion ginger garlic paste are nicely cooked, the raw smell are gone. So to this I'm going to add uh, the sliced uh, tomatoes and slitted green chilies. So stir it and again you have to close the lid and cook it for 5 minutes on medium flame or until the tomatoes are nice and squishy. So as you can see the tomatoes are nicely cooked. Now add the coriander and mint paste that we have blended. So I've taken about 1 cup of coriander leaves and 1 cup of mint leaves and then followed by the powder masalas starting off by plain chilli powder, turmeric powder, Kashmiri chilli powder, cumin, pepper and salt to taste and you have to close the lid and cook it for 3 minutes on medium flame. So after 3 minutes the masala are cooked so it gives you a nice aroma. So now add the cooked chicken. So the chicken is cooked about 80%. I'm going to add in that and followed by three glasses of water. So I've taken one and a half, one and a half glass of basmati rice. So I'm going to add about three glasses of water here. It's about one is to two ratio. Stir it really well and check for seasoning at this point. 
and close the lid and cook it for uh, cook it until it uh, reaches the boiling point and now i'm going to add the soaked basmati rice so you need to soak the basmati rice for minimum half an hour so stir it gently and close the lid and cook it for 10 minutes on medium low flame so it's been 10 minutes so the rice is cooked about 60 percent i would say so now concentrate on the edges not on the middle and just give it a gentle stir so you need not want to break the rice so stir it gentle so as I told you, it's about it's cooked about 60%. Now I'm going to close the lid again and cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes with a weight at the top of the lid on low flame. And do not open the lid for 15 to 20 minutes and place a weight so that it could cooks completely. So it's been 15 to 20 minutes. So I've turned off the stove. So now the biryani is completely ready. So this is how easy to make chicken biryani at home. Trust me, it tastes delicious and uh, it is so healthy as well. As you can see, the rice is cooked 100%. So I hope you like this recipe. So if you like my recipe, please give me a big thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell button to get notified whenever i upload a new video so until next time stay happy